got back from my first college class exam ever, so I came home and was like, I'm gonna go film a video. This is the February This Is Weird video. If you've never seen one of these videos before, WEIRD is an acronym, and it stands for Wearing, Eating, Impressed By, Reading, Downloading, and Doing. So it's a nice opportunity for me to talk about lots of things that I've been interested in. It's cool because you can walk away being like, oh my god, I'm so excited to check out, blah, blah, blah. And if you already know something that I'm talking about, then we can like bond over it. February was a very good month. Liked it a lot. Big fan. I, ah, I just, I don't know. It's like nice to be pleased with where you are in life. It's like a good, gratifying, it's a humbling feeling. One... I really want to talk about pants because I'm sick of skinny jeans. However, the reason why I'm cutting it to show you something else that I've also been wearing a lot of is because my laundry is currently being done and my clothes are somewhere down the road being washed. No pants. So the only pants I have to show you are these dress pants that I got altered to fit me perfectly, which is so great because I got them at this estate sale in Beverly Hills for $2, but they were too big. So I had to get them like taken in and then I got them hem so they were short and I can wear them now with like you can see my socks when I wear tennis shoes it's a very cute look I also have this pink pair that you may have seen in Instagram photos I'll link it down below because I don't have it to physically show you I think I just need to film a fashion video it's kind of been a long time since I've done that and especially living in New York City I don't know everything's like fair game here you can walk outside and anything's acceptable so I want to take advantage of that now the other thing I've been wearing is so many skincare products. I've been so interested in it recently. I go through phases with my skin where I won't wash it, I won't wear makeup, I'll just use water and my skin's able to stay soft and clear. But that's typically when I'm in a good environment. For example, I spent the month of June in Thailand and so I didn't wear makeup. It was like tropical climate, my skin was thriving. but. I go back to LA and like a week after I was already like broken out and stuff but my skin's been really good recently because I had this epiphany and I really think that this is contributing to my good skin. I was with my parents and we had to stop at Target to like pick up, I think they wanted face wash and I thought to myself, wow, both of my parents have clear skin, what do they use? Because whatever works for them is probably going to work for me because I'm a combination of both of them. <laughs> So I got the same face wash as them. They both use CeraVe and this is the hydrating facial cleanser and I wash my face once a day, sometimes twice or sometimes I'll just skip. It's so gentle on my skin. It's really nice. It's really really nice. Um, and then there's two different moisturizers, the morning and the night and the morning one's really thick. Uh, it has SPF on it, in it, on it, in it. SPF 30 for normal to dry skin and I like this sometimes I'll take some of Glossier's what is this called this is like their skin perfecting tint perfecting skin tint and I'll mix the two of them together if my skin's really clear and it's just like a little tinted moisturizer and then at night I use lotion every night that's one thing even then I'll wash my face I'll rinse it with water and then I'll put on lotion because I love waking up with soft moisturized well slept skin this one is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion PM. Yeah, just the AM and PM. I'm sure if you go to Target, like you'll be able to find it just fine. Other skincare, so mostly CeraVe, that's what my parents use. So if you learn anything, if you're having problems with your skin, maybe check out what your, your parents use because you got their skin. Other things I like, this is kind of, I love this. It's a bit luxurious. It's the Glossier Soothing Face Mist and it's rose water spray. And I've heard that rose water is really good for your skin, but I don't know guys. This, I'm a weirdo, but like spraying this on my face in the morning, I just feel like a lady. I love it. Um, snacks, because I've been on the go more than ever before. This is like the busiest I've been in my independent life. I feel like I was probably just as busy as I am now when I was in high school because wake up, go to school, go to sports practice, try to be social for like an hour, go home, do homework, eat dinner, go to bed, repeat. Yeah, crazy. I don't know how I did that. No, we all did that. We all did that for a very long time, like 13 years. That's nuts. So snacks. I like taking fruit if I'm walking out with it in my hand, but I don't like taking fruit as a snack if I'm not gonna eat it for hours later because if you put it in your bag, it just gets like nasty. So what I've been doing is taking Lara bars and 
Um, I took one of these from milk the other day and then I ate it and I liked it a lot. This is the coconut cream pie flavor and they're gluten free, dairy free, soy free, non-GMO, vegan, kosher. But I like above all else, they're just simple ingredients which I think everyone is kind of trying to strive for at this point. Like we know how fucked the food industry is. So we're like, okay, let's find ingredients that we actually know. So for example, in this bar right here, why is it, why do they label it upside down? That's weird. Ready? Dates, unsweetened coconut, almonds, cashews, extra virgin coconut oil. That's it. This one, peanut butter and jelly flavored. Haven't tried it yet, but I bet the ingredients are simple. Dates, peanuts, unsweetened cherries, sea salt. How are they doing this? Get these. I, I feel like typically the first half of the video goes by very quickly. Like I get through wearing, eating, and impressed by like, and then by the time I get to downloading and doing, like I have much more to say, but I feel like it's reversed for this video. I feel like I'm about to get on the zone and like get really quick right now. So impressed by I. <sighs> Kehlani's Sweet Sexy Savage album. I have been listening to that on repeat for weeks, for weeks. It took me probably like four times of listening the album all the way through to really, really get into it. But I'm so into it. Okay. You probably know Crazy. That was her radio hit. What do I like? I like Keep On. I like Not Used To It. I like Do You Dirty. I like Too Much. In My Feelings. I want to be. But I don't know. They always change. Those are the current ones. You have to go listen to it. Go listen to it. It's so good. Oh my god. I love her. And then my friend Olivia came in town and she had tickets to the Kehlani concert. So I got to see her live. I posted a video of her dancing to Personal. Go watch the video and just like admire her dance moves guys unreal she's so good she's like my my beyonce <laughs> r reading have to go back on my phone because i don't know what the author's name is i've been listening to the power of habit on audible who doesn't want to know how to establish a new habit i feel like as you age you realize that wow I've developed some bad habits. It starts off the story of how this one woman lost weight, the story of how this girl stopped biting her nails. I think there might be someone quitting smoking. I don't know, there was an alcoholic who quit drinking. But the ones I find interesting, and this is not what I intended to get out of the book, was just like the manipulation of consumerism. They talked about how we started buying toothpaste and how it's become literally, like it went from not existing to being something that this company got Americans to do twice a day. Because there's just a formula to it. It's like getting into your subconscious. Same thing with Febreze, they use that example too. And now people use Febreze all the time. It's like a phenomenon. It's crazy how like people can just make us all of a sudden feel like we need products. I talked about this on my vlog channel. It's not a vlog channel. I don't know what it is. It's just like a personal channel about how we don't need chapstick, but like we use it. You know, someone created this thing and was like, if you use it, you're going to have moisturized lips. But the thing is we had moisturized lips, you know, like our lips were self lubricating. That's the tea. Something else that the book has taught me that's a positive thing. I don't want to just like <laughs> That was like the main thing though that like the consumerism and how it's so easy to manipulate us We're so easy like we we want it. It's like we're asking for it Like we want someone to tell us what we need because we don't know what we need. That's the power of habit I don't know. I feel like some of you guys might like it. So download it. Also, finally I should have said this before Audible's finally sponsoring this video. You don't understand guys. I've made this video I don't know how many of these videos I've made and every single time I talk about the book I'm listening to on audible because I pay the monthly fee. I do the thing. I'm a fan Audible, I rep you so hard, I don't think you know. Like, I listen to your books all the time. Yo, audible.com slash Lexi. Audible.com slash Lexi. Go do it. D, what I've been downloading. Like, Instagram? Does that even count? That's just the app I've been so into recently. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. For example... I've posted nine photos in the past week. I just take a lot of pictures. I just do that. I always have. 
However, I'm just doing a lot more. So there's more to photograph and there's a higher chance that I'm gonna like one of the photos and then wanna post it. It's like my own personal scrapbook. I love Instagram so much. I feel like I like my feed and like looking at my feed more than I like seeing what other people are up to. It's just like, I look at it like a little scrapbook. Yeah, I wanna do like an Instagram giveaway because I've done a Twitter giveaway before and I've done a YouTube one. So I feel like I need to show my Instagram followers some love. Have any of you found me through Instagram? I don't think I've ever met someone who's known me just from Instagram. I met someone on the street the other day who knew me just from Twitter. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> I told you February was a good month. I've been doing a lot. I take a class once a week. I intern three days a week from 10 to 5. One of my favorite things about working at Milk is that I'm in Milk Studios and there's always tons of things going on and they have a gallery downstairs. So one time I was leaving and they had this Women at the Seams gallery going on. It was so sick. It was this woman, oh my god, I can't remember her name. I talked to her for so long too and I saw her again. Oh my god, she's not watching this, it doesn't matter. It's okay. She's such a badass though. She went around and interviewed all these women that have been working in their industry for 10, 15, 20, 30 years that maybe just weren't the face of the company, so they never really got recognition. And then I saw her again when I was in Brooklyn because I was visiting my friend Emma and Sib because they run the Messy Heads. I've talked about them before. It's a magazine. They did a relaunch of the cover, so I was there, you know, supporting friends. I hope that by next month I can mention something about essential oils and or a basketball game because <laughs> I want to get into essential oils because recently, oh my god, I don't even know what I'm saying. I've been like in tune with my sense of smell more than ever before. I feel like it was one of my five senses that I just ignored. Like looked up on Instagram to see if there were any like Instagrammers for that. I couldn't find any. Maybe you guys know some. Second, I want to go to a sports game and I really like watching basketball live. So I'm hoping that I can manifest myself into a Knicks game or something like that. That would be so sick. Yeah. Okay. Go check out the things I talked about. I'll link it all down below so you can find it. Uh, Audible.com slash Lexi if you want to get the book. Anything else? I think that's it. Really casual video. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.